Part 3. Copy Crash Course Attention and Introducing the Fresh Content Daily Case Study. We will be using a case study throughout our Copy Crash Course highlighting the Fresh Content Daily information product. This was an information product that was developed for bloggers and internet marketers. You will find a copy of the original sales letter in the resources section. Using our template of the 9-step sales formula within the AIDA marketing model, this video will explore grabbing the prospect's attention through the headline and exposing the pain found in our case study. The headline, Who Else Wants to Discover How to Create Fresh Content Your Audience Will Love Starting from Nothing in 47 Minutes or Less. Headlines are the most important part of any sales letter. This headline starts with, Who Else Wants to Discover How to? A great way to start your headline is with the phrase, Who Else Wants to, or Discover, or How to, or if you want to put all three together, creating the line, who else wants to discover how to something, something, something. That is very effective as well. After that, you want to make a big promise or state a big benefit. In our case study, it's create fresh content your audience will love starting from nothing in 47 minutes or less. This speaks to your potential prospect right away. It weeds out people that are not interested and grabs the attention of people that are interested. People that want to learn how to create fresh content their audience will love starting from nothing and quickly will be compelled to read further into the letter. Now the phrase 47 minutes or less is very interesting. Using numbers help to build credibility, but using odd numbers work better. If this said in an hour or less, or in two hours or less, it would not be as effective as 47 minutes. Odd numbers lend an air of authenticity. 47 minutes, 43 minutes, 39 minutes. Use odd numbers instead of rounded numbers for your headlines. As I said before, the headline is the most important part of any sales letter and it needs to grab your prospect's attention and lead them to the next line. The next step is to expose a prospect's pain. Our case study does it this way. Let's face it, if you do marketing, blogging, or pretty much anything on the net, you're going to need fresh relevant content for your audience, and you need content almost every single day to keep them happy, and to keep Mama Google happy too, right? Quality relevant content equals eyeballs equals cash. Our case study uses the phrase, let's face it, to further hook their attention, and then goes on to sum up the prospect situation and what they need to do to achieve their goal, whatever that may be. In our case study, it sums up the situation that people, website owners, bloggers need to create fresh relevant content on a regular basis to keep their audience and the search engines happy. The optional header after that puts it in very simple terms and holds the attention of people who just skim through sales copy. The next part of the sales letter reads as such. The problem for most of us is that either we don't have the time to create new content every day or we can't come up with any good ideas. So what happens? We either don't produce as much content as we should or we pay through the nose for outsourced material that's lacking in quality. Now we hone in on the problem. Using the phrase the problem is. Very simple. And then you hone in on their biggest pain or their problem that stops them. You don't have time or money to either create or outsource good content. So what happens? You remind them that they're stuck where they are and that all the things they've done before did not work. When this is done right, attention is captured. Explaining their situation to them, honing in on their biggest problem, and then reminding them that they're stuck will capture their attention through exposing pain. Up next, the copy crash course continues with interest.